All right, Ubay, thank you very much for that. Let's bring in now Oleksiy Movchan. He is a member of the Ukrainian parliament, and he joins us here on set in Kiev. Uh, good to have you on the show, uh, Mr. Movchan. I want to begin by uh, talking about this morning's events. Uh, Kiev City's uh, military administration said that they shot down nearly a dozen uh, Iranian-made kamikaze drones uh, at around 6 o'clock this morning. Talk to us about how important it is in terms of beefing up the air defense system, not only around Kiev, but all throughout the country after the events that we saw this morning. So uh, you felt uh, today morning that um, Russia is a terrorist state. That is what uh, people uh, in, in many people in the world don't believe. Uh, what they're doing, they're, they are uh, ter terrorizing the um, um, cities, peaceful cities, uh, critical infrastructure now it's like minus uh, minus four uh, Celsius. It's quite cold in Kiev and all over the country. So they shoot uh, uh, all the uh, facilities, heating facilities, facilities, electricity facilities. These are their uh, key aims. Uh, they want uh, this uh, territory to be unbearable to live here. Impossible. And, so, and it's not just Russia attacking critical infrastructure when it comes to energy and water supplies. One of the missiles, one of the kamikaze drones, actually targeted a, 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 a building in, 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 the, in the business center downtown. So this is clearly a civilian target. Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, it, so the, the, that is a constant thing that they're doing. It's uh, it, 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 the, the bombing and shelling of Kyiv has been repeated, uh, repeated several times and we've seen uh, uh, plenty of uh, uh, civilian uh, victims, people who were sleeping in their apartments and uh, they, they, they uh, just didn't um, feel anything. So that is uh, real terrorism. That is why we ask the whole world, uh, we ask our partners to protect, to, to help uh, us with uh, protecting uh, our people against terrorists, mm -hmm. against terrorist state. Uh, so the air def defense system is the key instrument, uh, is the key weapon that uh, Ukraine should have had from the beginning of the war. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's obvious that Ukraine doesn't have enough uh, resources to have the best, the best uh, systems to protect its territory and civic in infrastructure. When you say that Kiev needs all the help it can get, I think uh, Kiev may be getting that or is, is on the precipice of that in terms of with the New York Times story coming out saying that the United States could actually finally give the thumbs up or the green light in terms of deploying Patriot missile defense systems. This is the United States, perhaps uh, arguably the most powerful military in the world, sending over their most advanced ground to air missile defense system. What do you think, if that, if that were to happen, what would that mean? It would be a complete game changer. So first, uh, we are very grateful for, for the support all our partners and uh, all the countries of the world give to Ukraine. It's very important that we are not alone in the fight with terrorism. Uh, second, we, we hope that uh, that support will, uh, uh, will show and will protect as many territories, as many cities as possible. Because I, I, I believe that, um, that uh, it will not resolve all the problems uh, mm -hmm. and all the terrorism what uh, Russia makes, because there is different kind, kinds of it. For example, in newly liberated Kherson, in the south of Ukraine, they, uh, uh, they are shelling the city, they constantly shelling the city, and destroy all the uh, critical, they have already destroyed all the critical infrastructure, electricity and water supply and heating facilities. And uh, every day the city of 400,000 people, like quite big city, is uh, um, um, under, um, under shootings. Uh, another type of terrorism, so it's not only about a defense system in Kherson. Uh, in other cities, that are uh, far from the front line, uh, it is important, for example, Kyiv, yeah, it is important to give good air uh, anti-missile systems uh, that will uh, protect critical infrastructure and uh, civic apartments. Very briefly, my, la my last question to you is, you had argued that because of the West's stance back in 2014, 
This had enabled Russia to actually push even further, uh, perhaps even displaying uh, the actions uh, in terms of Russian military today. Uh, what would you like to see from the West in terms of its stance so that this type of thing never happens again? Uh, the West and the world actually yeah. must be fair and clear about who is real terrorism and terrorist. When somebody's uh, territory is uh, annexed as it has been in 2014, uh, there is no, uh, there, there should not be other ideas or options than to punish the, those who, uh, who interfere uh, in, and who um, invade another territory. Okay. Thank you very much for joining Thank us you. here on set.